Hello, this is Jason with MathTutorDVD.com and today we're going to learn how to use the graphing modes of the calculator to find the uh, exact answer to the value of the function at any given value of x. And that's a really long-winded sentence uh, for a very simple idea. So to show you what I'm talking about, let's go ahead and put in our trusty x squared for function one, and let's do x plus two for function number two, which is a line. So we have a line here and a parabola. Uh, now let's go ahead and graph that. And we're in the standard zoom, plus 10, minus 10 for x, plus 10, minus 10 for y. Here comes the second function. It's just a straight line, cuts through that parabola. Okay, now we know that we can trace this guy, and we've talked about this before. Now as you kind of go back and forth, the numbers that it's picking here for the value of x, they seem kind of random, but the reason that they're picked that way has to do with the pixels on the screen. So it draws the function, and we're at a certain zoom level, and so here's a pixel here and a pixel here and so on. So what the calculator's doing is, at every value of every pixel, um, the value of x that that corresponds to, we get a value of y. But what if you don't want to know what this function is equal to here at uh, 2.27, x is equal to 2.27848, uh, or 2.1519, what if you wanted it at uh, you know 2.20 exactly? What if you wanted to know the value of this function at x is equal to 2.20? Uh, exactly. Now you can go into the the stack, the home menu, and you could calculate it uh, for these simple functions. But what if your graph was something really, really long? What if it was, you know, sine cubed plus logarithm of two x minus x squared, something really long? Um, then if you wanted to calculate specific values uh, really easily. Um, then it, calculating it by hand on the stack it would just be kind of a waste of time. But when you're looking at the graph here and you're tracing here, uh, what you can do is go into the math menu. We're going to spend the next several sections dealing with the math menu F5 that pops up here when you're in the graph mode. Uh, there. Notice that when you're on the home screen doing regular calculations, F5 does something totally different. So this, this particular menu is present when we're looking at a graph. So go ahead and hit F5 and you see a drop down menu and we're going to work our way through all of these functions here in the next several sections. The first one here is the value. What this is asking you or telling you is uh, what is the value of this function? What is the value of the function that we, that we have? So just hit enter here and we see a little trace crosshair here but it's asking us evaluate it at x is equal to question mark that means put whatever value of x you want here so if I put in 2.2 which is an exact value 2.2 uh, and hit enter, then what's going to happen is the calculator is going to put x is equal to 2.2. It's going to put the cursor in the rough location of where that is along the x-axis. If you look, it's about just just past the two, the second tick mark here. And it's going to calculate it uh, here because 2.2 squared is equal to 4.84. And so it gives us the exact value. Notice that when we move off of that, again, it goes back to displaying these long sort of random looking things because it's it's going by where the pixels are lined up so these values of x are related to that but if we go into f5 select value put in two point you know three let's say this time then it'll calculate the value of the function here now notice in this particular case that we have two graphs drawn the first one is a parabola the second one is a line what uh, function is it using to to calculate this value? In other words, is this a, does this a calculation involve the x squared function or does it involve the line function? Well, if you it's easy in this this case because this is a line and this is a parabola. But uh, the way that you really know is the number one that it puts here. This means that this calculation that it did was for y sub one the x squared guy. So let's go back to the graph and take a look at that again. Let's go to F5 value and let's put something in a little bit more. Let's go 2.7. It's a little bit farther over to the right. 2.7. So it's up here. It puts a number one there. Notice that that was not there. So when we're tracing the graph, there's no numbers here. But when we go into uh, F5 and hit value and hit 2.7, then immediately a number one pops up. And that tells us that when we plug in 2.7 into function 1, y sub 1, the answer is this. Now, if you have more than one graph drawn and you want to know what the uh, value of y is for the other one, just hit the down arrow to cycle through the graphs like this. Then the crosshairs jump to the other graph, 
2.7 when you plug it in here is equal to 4.7 and that's just because of the function we define for y sub 2. So here's y sub 2 here. So that's really all there is to it. If you're tracing through a graph uh, here, if you hit trace here, and uh, let me go jump down to the other guy. Uh, if we're tracing through a graph and you're like, wow, this is 3.79 and this is 3.92, but I really want to know what 3.81 is. What is this function equal to at x is equal to 3.81? Just hit F5, hit value, 3.81 for the x variable, hit enter. And notice in this particular case that it goes back to function 1. It's always going to snap back to function 1 and tell me that when x is 3.81, y is equal to 14.5161. The reason there's no cross here on the graph is because at 3.81, we're right about here, just shy of, of x is equal to 4. And that means that we're basically off the chart here. That the 14.51 is way up here off the surface of the graph. But if I hit the for, for y sub 1, but if I hit the down arrow, then my cursor is going to snap down here to the other graph, which I can see, and you'll see the x and y corresponding location there. All right. Now I want to show you one more thing. If you go into uh, F5 and hit value, notice that we have graphed this function from x is equal to plus 10 to x is equal to minus 10. And of course, the y values x is uh, y is plus 10 minus 10 also. If we stick a number in here outside of the window that we have currently graphed, it's not going to work. If we put a value of 12 here, where x is equal to 12, and hit enter, it's going to say window variable domain error. And that's a real cryptic thing if you don't know what it's talking about. But basically, this whole idea of using the calculating the value is only going to work. See, I can even put 11 in here and still get an error. Uh, it's only going to work if I put values of x here that are, you know, what I've already graphed. So right now our window menu, our, our scale is from plus minus 10 in x. So what that means is when I use the value function here, I need to make sure and put a value of x in there of what I'm looking at. If I need to put something bigger in, then I need to zoom out uh, so, that, uh, so that we can do it. So that's the bottom line there. Now one more thing I'll say is I wanted to kind of show you based on the F5 menu uh, how to do this because it's a bulletproof way you'll remember you'll see this menu and we're also going to go through each of these menu selections here over the next several sections to teach you how to use them. Uh, but in fact finding the value of the function is even easier. You don't even really need to come into the menu here. If you're just tracing the graph, let's say you're just tracing right let's come on down here so we can see what we're doing and you don't even really for this particular function you really don't even need to come into F5 you can just type in a new value so here we want to look at 2.70 just hit 2.70 and it's automatically going to stick it here when you hit enter it's automatically going to calculate the result and you can shift up and down and look at function 1 and function 2 I didn't want to show you this method first because I think it's important for you to know that it exists inside of the math menu because this is what you're really going to remember. You're going to remember that this is something you can do. It's called value function. You can go in here and hit it. It'll ask you the question. You can type in the answer. But I'm just kind of giving you a shortcut that if you all you have to do is really trace a graph. It can be anywhere. Let me. I can go up here somewhere around zero and then I can just start typing in. Okay, what about at 2.3? Hit enter and I can calculate the value. So it's kind of a nice shortcut feature the calculator has. So I'm Jason with MathTutorDVD.com. Learn how to use this guy. Here in the next several sections, we're going to explore more functions in the math menu and make you comfortable with using your calculator's built-in capabilities.